Six moments of silence at the site of the World Trade Center marked the times of each attack and the moments the towers fell 12 years ago today. Hundreds of friends and families to the nearly 3,000 victims gathered on sacred ground at the Memorial Plaza, now in place of Ground Zero, and read the names of those lost aloud. Stephen Dennis Cafiero Jr. Richard Michael Caggiano. President Obama recognized the significance of this anniversary during a separate ceremony honoring those killed in the attack on the Pentagon. Above all, let us have the courage, like the survivors and families here today to carry on no matter how dark the night or how difficult the day. I crowd my good in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, people also gathered in the place where Flight 93 crashed. For Jay Winnick, who lost his brother Glenn in the attacks on the World Trade Towers, it's hard to believe 12 years have passed. Over time, you get the opportunity to reflect more on the life that he lived than the way Glenn died. Even as the ceremony stays constant, the space around Ground Zero continues to change. One World Trade Center now stretches into the void left by the fallen towers. It will be finished early next year, and by spring, the 9-11 Museum will also be complete. This sacred space will be a lasting record of the tragedies 12 years ago today. In New York City, I'm Danielle Lee, NBC News.